In this tutorial, we're going to show how to change textures midway through an animation. This can help you snazz up uh, different animations. You can change poses on a character. So uh, since this is 2D, you know, this character can only do so much with this pose. If we wanted him to swing a sword back, maybe in a cross, we might have a separate pose where he's facing away from the camera, and we move through that, and then we switch to another pose, and then finish the swing. That's one way you can do it. Uh, the other thing you can do, and I'm going to show you in this tutorial, is just kind of switch out the weapon, make it look like it's moving faster. So if we let's move this down a bit, we're going to use the attack animation, and what we're going to do here is, as this guy is swinging his sword up, at the apex, we're going to swap out this sword with a swishing sword. So let's set a keyframe here. We're going to make it a blank one since we're not actually changing the position or rotation of the sword. You see, in the inner blank, there's everything's empty. We're going to actually change the texture key here. This doesn't have any curves or anything since it's just a swap out. It just changes the texture. So we're going to select this. We're going to choose our swishing sword. You can see when we did that, since this texture is wider than this one, its pivot offset is messed up here. So to fix that, I'll close this, if we can add a pivot key, select the pivot window, and just move the pivot over to the sword handle again. You see it's back in his hand now. It was over here, and we just moved it to the sword handle. Let's get a little bit more precise. Okay. So now his sword is swishing, so when it comes down, it looks like it's moving faster. Now, as soon as it hits the floor, it comes back up. It doesn't make any sense for it to be swishing anymore. So what we're going to do is switch it back at this keyframe, at uh, frame 5 in mind. So let's insert another blank keyframe, change the texture, and switch it back to the regular sword. Now you see its pivot's offset is off again. So we add a pivot key and just put it back on the handle. We'll close these two. Now the sword's back. So when we play, see how it switches to a swishing sword and then back to your regular sword. So that's a really easy way to, to switch out textures. This is a simple example. Again, I said it'd be really useful if you were wanting to make your character more dynamic and have different poses for your character. Um, so it looks like he's moving in three dimensions. You can switch out all your textures that way. Um, you can even switch out your atlases. You don't have to stick with the same atlas. In my example, I'm using the same weapons atlas, so I'm not changing the atlas key. But you could switch to a totally different atlas for different poses if that was what you desired. But uh, that's all we're going to do in this tutorial.